Hello, my name is Michelle and I'm back again with uh, some puppeteer basics. I've been a puppeteer for probably about oh, 20 years and I'll tell you how I got started in it. I, um, I was at a church cleaning day and I found a pile of rubbish that was going to go out with the trash and there was this puppet laying there and it was just the top part of the puppet had big red lips, big red fingernails, had a wig and it had these little beady eyes and I said what are you gonna do with that and they said we're gonna throw it away and I said throw it away no I want it and they said okay so I took it out of the trash and I took it home and I took its hair off and I took off its lips and I left the fingernails because there was no way to remove them over the years kids would say why does Billy have red fingernails? I'd say his sister painted them in the night. But since then, Billy's had a facelift. I made a whole new puppet out of him. I made legs for him, and he's talked to kids now for over 20 years. I'm not in the puppeteer business now, but I've, I've taught Billy to a lot of kids, and I just wanted to show you some puppet basics with him. Okay. Okay, this is Billy and today he's dressed like Spider-Man because little kids love to think that Spider-Man is coming to see them at their daycare or their preschool or whatever you may have and so what do you mean I am Spider-Man now if you notice when I talk with Billy yeah when she talks with me my voice moves do you know Edgar Bergen was one of the greatest ventriloquists of our time or a puppeteer I should say and he moved his mouth but there's ways to keep away from that like if you do this then the kids can't see ya and it's so much more effective than this hello there how are you today my name is Zilly I'm a good boy that's so lame let's make their voices let's make their voices real Billy stop trying to take the mic from me I'm not trying to take the mic yes you are stop it alright jeez okay so there's ways to do around that. Now, at one time, Billy was a uh, half puppet. I want to show you. Now he's got legs that I made for him because it's really disconcerting to me to see a puppeteer with a half a puppet. From behind the puppet stage, um, you should never show your puppet with no legs unless you say that that person is uh, disabled and was born without legs or something like that maybe you could work around it that way but please don't show your puppet with no legs and um, don't ever show your puppet dead like don't pick your puppet up out of the bag and just have him like this I mean that just that takes all the fun and realism out of it I mean if you just have your puppet dead and I mean he's just and you take him like this and you just go you take him off your hand in front of the kids and you just do this with him I mean, the kids are never going to believe again from you that he is anything that's alive. And you want him to, be, you want them to identify with Billy. You want them to identify that he's alive and that he's, he's real to him in a way. Now also, like, I've noticed that when I'm talking with Billy sometimes, I'll be talking away. Like, how are you kids? What you doing today? They're looking at me. They're looking at him. They're looking at me. They're looking at him. And they say, hey you're talking for Billy and I'll say of course I am he's a puppet he can't talk by himself that's what you say and so I'll take off Billy's hat and show you what he looks like underneath he doesn't like it when the kids make fun of his hair so it's hard for him to come out of his case at first because he's a little shy are you making a wise crack about my hair again Billy now now come on Billy don't don't be mean. Be nice to the child. Be nice to me and the children. It's nice to be kind. All right. Okay. So anyway, so this is what you do. You just sit with your puppet, and I'll take my the the focus off myself for a minute so Billy can talk. Yeah, I love being the center of attention. Okay. Now this is something else you don't want to do with your puppet when you say. How are you today, everybody? It's good to see you. I'm so happy you're here. What you want to do is you want his face, his mouth to move like a human mouth would. 
So he would say, hi, and his mouth would go shut like yours would. Study your own mouth. Hello. Hello. See how he makes the same inflections. You don't want to go, hello, how are you today? Don't bring your head back like that when you talk because when we talk, we don't go, oh, hi there. Oh, uh, we don't do that. And neither should your puppet. You want your puppet to appear as lifelike as possible. So anyway, that's what you want to do. And uh, that's just a little refresher course, just a little beginning course on puppeteering. If you want to practice moving your, your mouth with your puppet, you say the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, now W would be not W, it would be W, X, Y, Z. <coughs> it's, it's really easy to work a puppet once you get to know them as a person. And this one is my son's brother for 25 years. <coughs> but my daughter, who's 13, refuses to call him her brother. I know, she's such a pill, isn't she? Yes, she is. She just won't accept that Billy is her brother. But he is because he's been in our family a long time. And I've got a tickle in my throat, so I better go. But it was good seeing you. <coughs> and everyone out there in TV land, bye, you monkeys. Billy, that's not nice to call them monkeys. Tell them you're sorry right now. Now apologize. All right. I'm sorry you look like a bunch of monkeys, Billy. Now that's not a way to apologize to these people. Tell them you're sorry that you called them monkeys. <coughs> All right. I'm sorry I called you monkeys. They do kind of look funny to look at.